I'm Devin Gwynn, and I'm the Houghton Library 75th Anniversary Fellow. I just graduated from Harvard, and I studied VES, which means Visual Environmental Studies, which is basically just film and animation and a little bit of art theory. And now I'm starting my career as a multidisciplinary artist, and so I'm really excited to be doing my interactive fiction piece about the library. So text adventures or interactive fiction are kind of an old game format. They were some of the first games that people played on computers because they took up such little space not having graphics or anything. Even though they kind of fell by the wayside, a lot of them are coming back. So websites like Clickhole, which is run by The Onion, um, they have these little click ventures that you can play that are essentially interactive fiction games. And other artists and storytellers are starting to use them since people are reading a lot of their content now online. So basically I'm engaging with some of the contents that um, we have here at the Houghton and I'm writing a story where instead of turning the page in a book, um, you're reading it online and you make choices that unlock the next part of the narrative. So when you play through it once, it might be totally different from somebody else who plays through it because they just make different choices by clicking on things that might be related to dialogue or might be related to what rooms they want to explore, what the, the resources are that they want to pick up. I think the Houghton is essentially the perfect place to set my game um, because number one, it's super mysterious. Uh, when I was trying to lay out parts of the game, um, they legally couldn't tell me where everything was or what all the rooms were, uh, which is just a wild experience that I, I haven't really seen before. Uh, and it also has a ton of history in it. So um, it sounds cliche, but like every single object has this crazy story. Number one of how it was made, and when it was made, but then also a lot of them have stories inside of them. This file is uh, from one of my favorite people that I have discovered, and it's Sterling Lanier. All of his personal files, or many of them, were donated to the Houghton Library. He was a, a science fiction publisher, and also he worked a lot with museums. He had stuff in the Smithsonian. One of his files, which is mysteriously missing at the moment, is called the Lunatic File. I think what makes my project particularly interesting uh, in this context is that um, I'm taking resources that are text-based and they're not hidden away in the library, but they might not be accessible to people you know, across the world, and I'm giving them a way to engage with those resources. Um, and I'm doing it in a way that's literary, so that if kids want to play it, they're learning reading skills, they're learning sort of story comprehension and problem solving. I think it's cool that the player in my game gets to navigate and then find certain stories and then dive into those stories. It's also just a beautiful place, which I guess people won't entirely experience uh, from reading you know, text descriptions of the rooms, but I think ideally people will read them and then want to come visit and then they'll get to see for themselves.